Jack's Tracks, we talk about the record collection I just bought. Stay tuned. Album reviews, record hauls, and vinyl crates again at Jack's Tracks Records. Alright, and welcome to Jack's Tracks. Like you saw in that intro, today we are talking about uh, the record collection I just bought. I talked a little about it in one video. I can't even remember which one. Um, but I said that I'm 99% sure I was going to get it, and I did. Um, I just didn't want the guy to back out the last second and say, oh, I want to keep them um, for memories. That, that happens sometimes. Um, and it really sucks when it does when you've uh, saved up all of your money and you're ready to go. And then last minute he says, no. <laughs> so I did buy it. Um, and it's about around 250 records, I believe, um, all together. Actually, no, it's way more than that. It's three, not way more, but it's 300 and 25 325 around i'm trying to think of the ones that i'm selling i am selling quite a few because um i'm not gonna listen to them and i would rather someone that already uh ha i already have these records and i would rather someone uh, that doesn't have the records listen to them um and a lot of these i just wouldn't listen to so i'm selling them for that reason i actually am selling them tomorrow uh to a local record store um so uh, stay tuned for that i'll tell you how that goes in my next Tuesday video but yeah here is the record collection all right so here is some better stuff in the collection uh, so we got B so a lot of Beale stuff let's go mystery tour pepper this is not a numbered white album it's my first white album uh, Blue Oyster Cole, Bad Company. There's a lot of Beatles in here. He actually said he had 17 Beatles records. It definitely was not chic. It was not 17. Um, James Gang, that's really nice. Uh, so yeah, so some Billy Joel in here, Led Zeppelin. Bob Dylan, there's Lady Palmer, I guess who, Foreigner. School's out. Santana, Van Halen, Woodstock, this, I actually have this, it's actually right over here, uh, but this one's in much better condition, so I'm going to keep that, Tommy, so that's more of like the better stuff uh, in the collection. Alright, so this is, this is the better stuff, uh, Beatles, we already went through um, this, but this is still the stuff I'm keeping in this crate. Um, so we have Ario Speedwagon. I'm just going to take a couple out because it's pretty packed so I can flip. Ario Speedwagon. Some more Ario Speedwagon. Elton John. Elton John Grace Hits. Some Chicago. I already have this one, 17. That's actually pretty cool. I have that one upstairs, so I'll have this one down here. Chicago. Chicago. This is like, I think, some platinum thing or something. But it has like all of the hits on it. Let's see. I don't see anything. Chicago. My camera focuses. There it is. All right. So yeah. So we have Chicago. Should be able to flip now. Best of Bread. Two copies of that. Uh, Bet Midler. This is terrible, but it's really, really funny. Um. <laughs> They're around Mount Rushmore, so I kept it for that. Moody Blues. Is that the only Moody Blues? I thought there was one more. Uh, Carpenter. There was a lot of Christmas stuff in here. So it's uh, Carpenter's Christmas. Um, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Santana. Brad Stewart's Greatest Hits. This, I did the top five worst albums. This was on it. I should probably update that and have the... I, this was an honorable mention, but I didn't have the actual record. And now I do. This is absolutely garbage. But it's really funny. So that's why I kept it. So we got Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck. We're in a rhythm section. This was weird to see there. He, I didn't know he would have this. Queen, A Day in the Races. Um, Marshall Tucker Band. Marshall Tucker Band. A lot of Dan Fogelberg. So like a lot. Some Dollar Bin stuff in here. But this this Dan Fogelberg I actually really like. So I'm going to keep that one. Stewie Dan. Stewie Dan. Oh, you can't see that. Damn, sweet damn. Oh, what's in here? Free, fire and water. I had no idea what this was until I listened to it. It's actually really cool. I recommend it. Uh, I don't even know what this is, but I listened to it and it looked 
It sounded pretty cool. Dickie, Dixie Dregs. It's actually pretty cool. I've uh, never heard of that band, so it was cool to hear them. I had this one upstairs, Jim Kershey. Um, uh, so I have one down here and upstairs. Jimmy Buffett. There was a ton of Jimmy Buffett, but I wanted to keep one. And this one has a cover of Brown Eyed Girl. Bob Seger and the uh, Silver Bullet, Live Bullet. I don't even know what this is. Tom, Tom Rundgren? Tom Rundgren? I don't even know what this is, but it sounds pretty cool. I really like this. Uh, Good Russian Man Jr. Live, Stevie Wonder, Village People. He had a ton of Village People. I don't know why. This had YMCA on it, so I wanted it. James Taylor, Styx, Bruce Springsteen, Santana's Greatest Hits. Uh, more Santana. Saturday Night Fever. I didn't own this, uh, but I thought this was the chance to get it. The Bee Gees. Hollow Notes, Hollow Notes, Hollow Notes. Some more hollow notes. Frampton comes alive. Uh, I don't even know. Funkadelic. Uh, Grand Funk Railroad. Uh, the Flying Burrito Brothers. This was on Spin Me Around Records album review. Uh, not this exact one, but I never heard of them and haven't listened to them. But I'm going to listen to this one and see if I like it. But anything they review is usually pretty good. Um, the Doobie Brothers. Farewell Tour. Best of the Doobies. Uh, I don't know if this one might be more doobies. I don't even know. Almond Brothers. This is. Uh, Neil Diamond, his 12 greatest hits. I already have a greatest hits, but this one's a bit better, so I'm going to keep this one. I actually don't want a Neil Diamond. I actually kind of like him. The Pretenders, which is pretty great. Cat Stevens. I have no Cat Stevens, but I watched a CBS Sunday Morning did a special on him, and I... Wanted to listen to some of his music, so this is the perfect time to get it. Uh, I don't think that was there. No, it's not in order anyway. Barry Manilow Live. He had so much Barry Manilow. But I didn't want to just get rid of all of it, so I kept the live album. I'm never, I don't think I'm ever going to listen to it, but I'll probably listen to it once or twice. Some more Marshall Tucker. Uh, cool in the Gang, Greatest Hits. Elvis Costello. Uh, so in Creedence Clearwater, I was definitely not expecting to see this in there. That's always a good thing. And a lot, a lot of Christmas stuff. So we got uh, Turned On Christmas, and uh, last one is Christmas uh, Sing with Tim Crosby. And here are all of the records I'm selling. Yep. I mean, a lot of this stuff... It was mediocre. I mean, this this stuff is great. I just already owned it. So I'll just show you some of the better stuff that I'm selling. Uh, who's next? Beatles at Hollywood Bowl. Yesterday and today. A lot of these I already have. So I already have this. I already have that. I already have this. I already have this. Beatles Rock and Roll Music. I already have this. Van Halen. I already have this. 1984. Um, I already have this. This Bad Company. I already have Straight Shooter. I already have this Jimi Hendrix experience. No shits. I already have this. And it's gonna go on platinum. I don't have this, but I'm not really the biggest fan of Blondie. So, Blondie, some Billy Joel. I already have all this. Yes, close to the edge. The yes songs. Uh, Chicago, 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 Chicago. Um, we have Solid Rock. This is a cool compilation. Uh, Electric Light Orchestra. Bruce Springsteen. Alan Parsons Project. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Uh, Allman Brothers Band. Steve Forbert. Uh, cool in the Gang. And Chic. So that's the better stuff. So this is the really, like, really mediocre stuff, so... Emerson, like, in Palmer, we got a piece of honey, uh, Stanley Clark, so there's some jazz stuff in here, some more Stanley Clark, Christopher Cross, Average White Band, Kenny Rogers, so actually some country stuff in here, um, which I like to get to, find Carpenters, <laughs> George Benson, Blackbirds, um, I'm not gonna go, yeah, a ton of Star Castle, not really into that. 
rags to Rufus or whatever. I'm not going to show you all this because a lot of this is not really the best stuff. So I'm just going to drop this off at a local record store. Hopefully, oh, hopefully they give me some decent money for it. Oh, God, summers. A ton of down summers. Hopefully they give me some okay money. I mean, a lot of this is going to go on the dollar bin except this stuff. But so James Taylor, uh, Ashford and Simpson. This Annie soundtrack. Yeah, all these Barry Manilow's. Yeah, so, really not the best stuff in here. Robert Palmer. Ashford and Simpson. Harry Chapman. That kind of stuff. Uh, this is some more New York stuff. He had two CDs. A, a whopping two CDs. Um, got Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell, and Weird Out with a TV album. So... Also going to sell these. Um, so we got Lee Rooks here. The Loggins and Mrs. Missina. Don't know how to pronounce that. Aviator. Pure Prairie Lee. Um, yeah, so Pocket. Some stuff. Alan Parsons. Some stuff here. Dan Folkberg, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Stevie Dan. That kind of stuff. Brain salad surgery. And then this is the really, really, really crap stuff. So, Andy Gibb. I mean, this stuff doesn't even like. I mean, Call with the Wind soundtrack. Saga. I mean, this is just the really. I mean, B Mr. Big isn't bad, but that's in really bad condition. Star Wars. Box sets. Jazz box sets. I'm not going to go through all of them. I mean, there's like Bat Midler in here and all that stuff. Yeah, ridiculous. Mantavini. Yeah. That's like the really crap stuff. Yeah, all in all. Oh, and this is what I'm giving or trading with a friend. Um, this Ellen John. Earth on Fire, Earth on Fire. Will and James, Piano Man. Bat Midler, if you wanted one. A really, uh, really ugly one. Jimmy Buffett. It's here. Carly Simon. He has one Carly Simon record that he thinks is absolutely hilarious. So one, another one. And this random, I mean, it says Chaka. So, this will make for his enjoyment. <laughs> for, like, hilarious factor. Uh, the, this country band, I don't know what I'm doing with yet. I might keep it. I might sell it. Pretty good. And then these, I couldn't find any record of online, so um, I'm going to have to listen to these um, on the turntable, uh, Pablo Cruz, I know I, there's a ton of um, albums uh, on Apple Music of them, but none of this one, Hartsfield, I don't know anything about that, uh, Art and Gym Live, so these guys, I don't know what's going on with yet, but yeah. All in all, a very good collection. I mean, not very good. I would say, say, actually, yeah, very good. Because I got to keep this stuff. This stuff is pretty good. Um, comment down below if I, you think I paid a good price for this. I paid $250 for all of this. So, I mean, I think this was worth it. The Magical Mystery Tour. Uh, bad in a head. This stuff is really pretty good. Led Zeppelin, Bob Marley, Farner. That stuff is good. This stuff is pretty great. I'm going to listen to all of this. This stuff is really, really good. It's just that I already have it. Um, and then this stuff is very mediocre. So, I'm going to try to sell these to my local record store. And maybe even a few local record stores. The ones that don't want some of this stuff and only take a few. So I have this one store that literally buys everything and the store is jam packed and they literally will buy anything. Um, it's actually not even a, it's a bookstore that also buys records. Um, and yeah, I'm just, any of the stuff that, I have two record stores that I go to regularly. If um, both of them only take a few things, then I'm gonna drop, not drop, but I'm gonna hopefully get paid for the rest of the stuff 
at this other record store. So yeah, pretty good buy overall. Um, it was a couple hours to get there, um, but really not bad at all. We had a good time, me and my dad in the car. So yeah, um, pretty pretty good buy. Tem comment down below if you think it was worth it for $250 for all of this. And hopefully I can make my money back just by selling this stuff. So yeah, this is the collection. All right, that concludes this episode of Jack's Tracks. Tell me down in the comments if you think it was worth the $250 I spend for all of it in total. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Jack's Tracks Records.